Hello, everybody. This is Miss Amy here. Thank you for joining me for another fun art project. Today, we're going to create this fun holiday reindeer and learn some interesting facts about reindeer. So let's go through our list of supplies that you'll need to create this project. First of all, you will need a piece of watercolor paper or uh, mixed media paper. Then you will need a pencil and an eraser. Some crayons. I got my big box out today. Some oil pastels. Your watercolor paints. A paintbrush. I'm using a round paintbrush. You can use a flat paintbrush if you have that. Um, I. I think a round one would work a little better because you'll get, you're going to have to paint around the the when we draw the deer. So maybe a round one would work the best for this one. And then a um, cup of water and some paper towel. All right, let's get started. Oh, and one other thing I forgot. If you want it to dry quick, I would recommend using a hair dryer. It'll dry it in a few a minute rather than an hour. So. If you have one of those, uh, get a parent to help you, or you can just wait until it completely dries to finish your project. So, all right, let's get started with this holiday reindeer. So we wanna put our paper in front of us in landscape direction, so our reindeer will fit. Now his antlers aren't gonna fit totally, so we are going to draw them so they go off our paper a little bit, but I think that looks kinda cool. So. We're gonna start out with just some simple shapes and then we'll put it together into our reindeer. So I start, I come down just a little bit from the top of my paper and I'll just draw a little dot there. And that's gonna kind of help me have a guideline where to put the reindeer's head. So it's kind of an egg shape or an oval, but more um, narrow down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna do my egg shape here. And you can, you can uh, if you draw lightly, you can erase your lines a little easier and kind of fine tune how your egg shape there. Okay, so um, I'm gonna draw some shapes and then we will um, put it all together and erase some of the lines that we don't want anymore. So that's why I suggest uh, writing lightly at first or drawing the shapes lightly. All right, and so then his, the nose is kind of less square with rounded corners. So I'm making a square with rounded corners. All right, and then um, we're going to do his neck will come down on both sides, just like this. Like he's looking straight at us. And then we're going to have his ears, so the side of his head. So we need room to make his antlers up here. So his ears are kind of underneath his antler. So I'm just going to start here and make a curve line. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, curve line. And then I'm going to take the end, kind of make it a little round curve line, and then curve it back to the head. And the same thing on the, the tip of the ears are kind of a little bit curved. They're not pointy so much. And then curve back to the head. Almost looks like a cow's ears a little bit. And then I'm going to draw a little line inside to create the inside of the ear. All right. So next we are going to add some antlers. So with the antlers, I just make a little curve line on the top of the head where the antler is going to come out. So antlers are like drawing the branch of a tree almost. So what I'm going to do is um, start at the bottom of that curve line that I made and I'm just going to draw a curve line how I want my antlers to go. You can do your antlers a little different than mine because no two reindeer have exactly the same antlers. So you can make yours however you want. So then I'm going to start on the top part of that curve line and I'm just going to make a little antler coming up here. Now their antlers aren't super pointy. They're, I noticed they're just a little bit rounded at the end so I, that's how I'm going to make mine instead of a point, just slightly rounded. And then I'm gonna make some branches of the antler and I'm just gonna put them off the page because 
my paper, if you were using a big piece of paper, you could fit all the antlers in there, but I'm just using a more regular sized piece of paper. So I'm not going to be able to fit all my antlers on there. And then I'm going to draw another one up here going off the paper. And then another one. This one's going to go off the paper this way. Looks pretty cool. And I'm going to erase that anything that's inside that antler. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And you can make them both a little bit different. They don't have to both be the same. Only if you'd like to make them symmetrical, that's fine. So I do mine a little bit just because I like to draw art that way. But I'll, I'll, uh, I will do it a little bit different because I don't want them to be exactly the same. So I might leave out. See, there we go. See, I added an extra branch over here and I left that out on this side just to make it a little bit different. All right, now let's make the rest, draw the rest of the reindeer's head and erase the lines we don't need. So the top of the head is fine, just like that. And the ear, we can kind of fine tune the ear a little bit. And then I'm going to come down the side and just make a thicker line or a heavier line. And I'm going to come down to the bottom of that uh, squ a square that I made. And I'm do the same thing on the other side. Come down. So now the nose part as you can see in my example the nose they have long no, longer noses so to make it appear like he has a long nose we're going to add some lines to the face and then around the nostrils so i'm going to start up here kind of in the middle of the head and just draw a little line that comes down and then i'm going to draw rounded and that's where his nostril will be. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Come down and then kind of round it, make a curve line so that it goes out just a little bit. And then all those squares and light lines that I made earlier, I can get rid of those with my eraser. And then I have a nice little reindeer there. Look at this nose and then the mouth. Now their mouth, their lips come together, kind of goes up a little bit and down. Now, if you want to um, make a smile face on your reindeer, you could definitely do that. But I like to do mine realistically, so I'm going to do it this way. All right, and then we can add the nostrils and they kind of are like a big rain, raindrop. So they come down, curve down and then kind of curve back up or like a big comma that you're putting in a sentence. But I like to think of them as raindrops. And so I'm going to make another one over here, just opposite backwards from this one so that they're facing each other. All right. And then the neck, I'm there this winter time for this reindeer. So he's got it got shaggy hair. So I'm going to make some little, texture here that makes it look like he's got shaggy hair. So I'm just going to do a little line back up, kind of little points, almost like little tree branches. That's when you're drawing a tree branch, but it's going to make him look like he has some shaggy hair there. And I like that. And I do that inside the ear a little bit too. Make the look like they have shaggy hair in his ear. There we go. All right, now we need to add his eyes. His eyes, there will be one on each side of the head. So what I do to start is I just draw a um, curve line right on the edge. I start right at the edge of the head there. Curve line and then curve it down. like a, Almost like a slight oval there. And I start the same thing on the other side. And then um, I erase anything inside the eye there. It's okay if you go over the edge of that face just a little bit. And then for the eye, eyelash there, eyebrow, kind of the eyelash over the eyes, I just follow the shape of the eye and curve it up into a point and then make a parallel line back. 
And do the same thing on the other side. Curve it up, make a point, and then parallel line back till it goes back to the corner. I started that corner of the eye there. And then you can race anything inside there. Now he's got some really great eyelashes. Now I noticed reindeer have um, their irises, the black part of their eye, are more shaped like an uh, oval that's laying on its side. So I'm just going to draw kind of an oval that's laying on its side in the middle of the eye. All right, that's looking really cute. I like this reindeer. Now for adding some holiday or Christmas decorations to your reindeer, please feel free to do whatever decorations you would like to add. I'm going to add, um, like I did in my example, I added some Christmas bulbs here that you would find maybe on a Christmas tree and a little bit of holly there. Um, if you wanna add your own decorations, you can add whatever you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Christmas bulbs. So what I do is make the hanger first. So I just make a little curved line that looks like it's going around my antler. That's why I curved it slightly to make it look like it was going around the antler. Then I make a straight line down. Then I make a little square at the end of that string. That's like the top of the uh, bulb. And then you could make it whatever shape you want. Bulbs come in all different shapes. Like you could make a teardrop shape or you can make a round shape. I'm going to go ahead and you know what? Maybe I'll make a teardrop shape. See my example I made round? I'm going to do something a little different this time. So I'm going to do kind of almost looks like a big light bulb. Kind of a teardrop, upside down teardrop. There we go. That'll be a fun shape for a ornament. And then on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Make a curve line that looks like it's going around my branch. And then a line straight down. And it doesn't have to be the same level as that one. It can hang a little lower, a little higher. And then I'm going to do the same shape over here. Now yours can be different. It doesn't have to look like mine. I look forward to seeing what you add to your holiday reindeer. All right, and I'm going to add some more holly here. So I'm just going to start with three berries, three holly berries right on top of his head. One I overlap on his head and then the two kind of on top and that way it looks like it's sitting more on top of his head. And then I'm going to make the little holly leaves coming out to the, they're just pointy you have these little points sticking out, curved lines with little points at the end. And then I'm going to add another leaf right over here. There we go. A little line down the middle. That's fun. Now he looks very festive. All right. So now it's time to put away our pencils. You know, you make sure you have your reindeer just how you want um, him to look. And then we will put our pencils away and we will start with our watercolor paints. So I'm going to go ahead and get my wallet watercolor paints out. Now for this, um, I recommend I use cool colors in the background because this is winter time. And so there's, I use purple and blue because I thought that would look really cool with my reindeer. If you want to add a little bit of green in, um, into your background, that's fine. Um, just, I've decided to use cool colors representing wintertime sky behind him. But you have fun. If you want to do a little bit different, that is fine. And we're going to do a wet on wet technique. So before I get started though, I want to drop a little water in the colors I'm using. So I'm going to do some blue and then some purple. I might do a little bit of green because I'm running really low on purple. So I might add some green in today for this project. All right. So we are not going to do anything on the deer. We are only going to do behind the deer. The background is what we're painting with watercolors. So we want to be really careful to follow our pencil lines and stay um, on that side. So we're going to do wet on wet. Um, so what we're going to do is paint our water with 
paint our paper with water first. And I'm using a round brush so I can really get into those small areas easier. So um, I'm just going to paint a little section at a time. And see, I'm going right up to the pencil. I don't want to go into my antler at all. Now, if you do that accidentally, get in your antler, don't worry, because the crayons will cover the paint. So that is okay. So then I'm going to get some purple on my brush and just touch it onto the water. Wherever I put water there, I'm just going to tap it in there. And so when you do it, the paint kind of can go where it wants and creates this great, almost looks like fluffy look or um, mixes together and looks kind of like a sky. I, that's why I like to do it that way. All right, so then I'm going to add some plain water in the next little section. And you can mix your colors. Like I'm going to start adding some blue and so my purples and blues start mixing together a little bit. So I'm just going to do a little section at a time so that my paper, the water doesn't dry before I get the paint added. So I'm going to start with a bit of purple under here. Just tap my brush in that water and then I'm going to add some blue. Tap some blue in there. See how it's kind of doing its own thing there? You can kind of see it moving. There we go. And I'm just making sure that I brush carefully right along the edge of my pencil lines because I don't want to have a blue inside my deer. So I'm going to add some more water right up to the edge here. Now reindeer are also called caribou. Caribou and reindeer are basically the same animal. I found that out. You know, I'm sure there's different types of reindeers. Uh, the farther north they live closer to the Arctic, they're more white or lighter colored than the ones that live farther south, which I thought was a really interesting detail about the reindeer. Probably because they can blend into the snow better. I'm not sure on that. I'd have to look that up, but that would be my guess why they're lighter colored farther north that they are. Um, they do come from northern countries like Norway, Finland, countries that are real close to the Arctic and the North Pole. That's where reindeer, most reindeer live. All right, so we want to continue this so we get our whole background filled in. I might add a little bit of green in here at the bottom. Just as, oops, I didn't add my, I gotta add my water first. Let me add my water first. some green in there. Green is a cool color also. You don't have to, you can choose what you would like to do. There we go. Now I'm going to be real careful around the holly. Try to get my water not to go inside the holly at all. If you do a little bit, that's okay because we'll cover it up later. So don't worry about that. Just try your best. There we go. I just add a tiny bit of paint to it so it can spread into that water there. Ooh, that's pretty purple. Now I'm going to turn my paper around just to make it easier for me. It's easier than trying to reach across my paper. And then I can get out paint all over and smear it all over. So I'm just going to do this this way. All right, a little more purple up here. Now when I'm doing the sky, I like to put my darkest color at the top. That's why I'm doing purple all along the top here. And then I like to add my other colors. You don't have to do it that way. I just like to do it that way because 
I try to be a little more realistic when I do my artwork. But you might have your own style, so you don't necessarily have to do it that way. There we go, that pretty dark purple. Oh, that looks really good. Such a pretty color. All right. I'm going to add some more water in here. Plain water. I know it looks a little purpley, but um, it'll still work. The other color will still work in there. So I'm going to add a little bit of blue in my I might even add a little bit of blue up in here, my purple a little bit, so it looks like it's starting to bl to blend or transition into the blue. There we go. Paint some more water around my ornament there. blue here, a little bit of purple, add some more plain water. Lots of blue because I am almost out of purple. And I don't want as much purple down here. I would like more blue and a little bit of green, probably. All right. So I'm going to paint the rest of my paper and finish up with a little bit of green. great so now is the drying time before we can work on our reindeer so what we're going to do is we can set your paints aside I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm just going to kind of soak up a little bit of the extra water just lightly soak it lightly tap so the water gets soaked up and you get a little bit of texture in your paint then and it looks kind of cool that way I love that. I like to do that and get a little bit more texture in my paint. This makes it a little more interesting. It's more like a sky. All right, so while your painting is drying, this is a good time to wash your brush and make sure your brush is all cleaned and put it away. Maybe go dump out your water. Also, this would be a great time to dry it with your hair dryer, which I'm going to do because I need to finish the project for the video. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this real quick. A tip for air drying or hair drying your picture is never to touch the hair dryer directly on the surface of your paper or put your hand underneath where the air comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and just dry this real quick. There we go, a few seconds and my paper is dry. That's what I love about the hair dryer. It can dry really fast. 
Now you just want to make sure there's no like shiny spots left so that you're, you don't have any water that'll smear and do that. So, um, oh, that background looks great. I love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started on the, um, we're going to color paint or color the reindeer and then we'll get working on the ball on the Christmas decorations. So reindeer usually have darker heads than their body. Uh, most reindeers, reindeers you can see in my example, I made a darker colored head than the body. So I'm going to use kind of a dark brown. Um, you use what you have. I have a darker brown color. Let me find, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, this is a good darker brown color. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color in my reindeer head and I'm going to color the direction of the head. I'm not going to color across this way because that's not the direction my head goes. I'm going to kind of follow my pencil lines. And when I color with my crayon, I'm going to make sure I get a nice solid color there. I don't want it to look like that. That's not going to be very realistic. So I want a nice press down a little bit, but not so much that you hurt your hand, just enough to get a nice color on your reindeer. And notice how I'm going all in the one direction here. And the same with the ears. I'm going to follow the direction of the ears. Now I'm not going to color the center of the ears because I'm going to do that a little bit lighter. I might do the bottom of the ear there brown, but I'm not going to do the centers or the antlers. The antlers I'm going to do a little bit different too because their antlers are slightly different color than their body. So anyway, the pictures that I've seen of reindeer. Did you know that um, the, the reindeer is the only deer species of deer that both the males and the females have antlers and every year they shed their antlers and grow a bigger pair next the following year so the bigger the antlers the older the deer the reindeer is so that's kind of a cool thing and then both females and males have the antlers and some of the other deer the females don't have antlers so I thought that was kind of interesting. Along the bottom of the ear, color down here. Now, when we get down close to the nose, there's a little like pink area of the nose or white, kind of a white area. It can be on the lighter colored reindeer, it can even be more red colored. So I'm going to let you choose. But I'm, you come right down to the bottom of the nostril and just color. I do, I do brown and then I stop. I leave it right under the nose like that. Same thing on the other side. So the bottom chin is going to be pink. And then under the nose. And then when you get to the top of the nose, you can leave. I leave a little bit of. Um, kind of a curve line there and I'm just going to color down to that. Kind of a little pink area for the reindeer. There we go. All right, so that's our, and I know it looks funky. I have a weird texture on my watercolor paper. When I use this, I used actually mixed media paper. It was smoother paper and so it didn't leave all those little white but this, um, we're going to color over that. So hopefully that will take care of some of that. I just noticed that on there. But that's why that's happening on there. If you're like, well, that looks weird. All right. So now I'm going to take a little bit of black because we want to darken up and make it look. See, I can't really see the sides of my nose very well. So what I'm going to do is along that pencil line where I drew that long line for the nose, I'm going to add some black in there. And I'm not coloring very hard, just a light layer of black, enough that I can see it. And come up right on the side of the face a little bit. And I come up right under the eye just a little bit. And then I color the eyelashes black. And then the 
iris a color black all right and then the nostrils at color black because they're kind of dark inside their shadow and then the other one come down this side of the nose and do the same thing on this side Our layer of black in there. Do the eye, eye lashes there and the pupil. Now on the nose a little bit, I color just a little bit, a tiny bit of black. So I want the darkest part to be on the sides. And then I just color a little bit on top. Boy, that does look really weird in the video. Hopefully your paper is a little smoother than mine, than my watercolor paper. We can fix that though by coloring over with a pastel later. I think that will fix it too. All right, then I'm going to um, do, I'm gonna get a lighter brown color almost like a tan maybe. Let's see if I can find a tan color. Kind of a tan color here. Let's see if this is the one. Yep. So I'm gonna color the bottom of the, ne the neck, all this tan color. If you have a color similar, you may not have all the colors I do, so you just pick the color similar to this. You could use a lighter cream color or a peach even. To, if you needed to do that, if you didn't have all the colors. And I'm coloring a little bit harder with this color because I want a nice dark or this color to be nice and thick on there. We're going to color the inside of the ears the same color. There we go. Now I do add a little bit of black, just a little bit of along the ear, along the bottom, just as a little bit of shadow. So you can kind of tell that it's the inside of the ear. There we go. All right, now the eyes. This is a really cool fact about reindeer's eyes is reindeer have their eyes change color depending on the season. So if it's summertime, their eyes are like golden brown and in the winter they turn blue. And I found out the reason is when you live far, when they live um, up in those Northern countries that are close to the Arctic, it's in the winter time it stays dark. They only get like a little bit of light during the day and that's it. It's usually mostly dark the whole time, like all day and all night, except for few short hours and so the lighter color eye actually allows more light into their um, they're able to see more light um, because of that where in the summertime they the golden brown color um, they can have because there's more sunshine in the summertime so I thought that was really fascinating the eyes change color like that so you can pick out a really pretty blue color I'm just gonna use regular blue I think there it is and I'm going to color blue eyes make those blue eyes really pretty there and that's why I made them blue in my picture so I didn't know that reindeers have blue eyes in the winter and I thought that was so cool I'm coloring kind of hard to try to fill in that white specks and color this black a little bit harder too. All right. And so their nose here, the nose I usually do in a peach color. If you have like a peach color, you can just color lightly over that whole area. You can make it more red if you want. 
because some reindeer have a more reddish colored nose. Um, and then I take like a light pink color. I have one called melon that I'm going to use, but you could use a, a, a more of a pink color if you wanted, or even a more bright red color if you wanted. So I just do that. And then I take my black a little bit and I just uh, kind of make a little shadow under the mouth there. All right. And then, oops, let's leave the colors out that I've used. All right, so now we're gonna work on our antlers a little bit. And I used, I think I used like a reddish brown for the antlers. Let me see if I can find it. You can just pick out a different shade of brown. There we go. Chestnut, I used a chestnut colored. So just a little bit different. I wanted it to be a little bit different than the body. But you could use a tan color, you could use light brown. I'm using a reddish brown, you could use a yellow brown. You could use whatever you have there. Just maybe a little bit different brown than the body so they kind of stand out a little bit. So you just color in a nice layer on that. Try to cover as much of that white paper as you can. And I'm following the direction of my antlers as I color. Oops, it's okay if you color over some pencil because you're gonna, you'll trace over that later with some crayon. So no worries. All right, so I do use my black just a little bit along the bottom just to create a little bit of shadow, just lightly along the bottom, not heavy black, just so you can see it a little bit. So you could just see it a little bit. Kind of defines the antler a little bit. And the bottom side of the antlers and the same thing on this side. Just the bottom side of those antlers. All right, now I'm gonna take some green and let's see, I have some pretty dark green here. Pine green, that will work perfect for the holly. So I'm gonna color those in as dark as I can get them. You can take your red, find a nice pretty red. Let's see, where's my regular red? Oh, I'm gonna use a dark red for these. I think I use like a maroon dark red color. Nice dark berries there. Color them in. And then I did use a little bit of black just to make the line on the holly berries. You could see it a little bit. And then maybe around the edge of the holly a little bit. There we go. All right, and then our bulbs here. So I'm gonna do black as the string, just so it shows up. So I'm gonna just trace over with my crayon, the pencil line that I made. And then I'm going to color gray on the, or you could use silver too, on the little square. What connects the string to the ornament. And I take my black and add some little lines on there. There we go. So it shows up and you can pick whatever color ornament. I think I'm going to do red. I did red last time. It was really pretty. Maybe the same red. Now I want to add some highlight where this the light is reflecting on the bulb and then there's the darker side. So what I'm gonna do is just color lightly first all over. I don't wanna color 
dark yet. And I'm going to leave a little bit of white space near the top of the bulb there where I'm not going to color in. That's going to be my highlight area. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And make this little square there of light area that I'm not going to color in. All right, so now that I have the basic color in here, I'm going to um, do darker on the opposite side of my where my light is. So I'm going to color that darker. So I'm pushing down hard on my crayon, and then I'm going to start pushing lighter and lighter and lighter till it blends into the what I've already colored. So you can see that transition from dark to lighter. Same thing on this side, along the edge, and then as I get out here and we'll press lighter and lighter and lighter until it blends in with the rest of my what I colored there. Then I even gonna take a teeny bit of my green here and just do a little bit along the very edge make it even a little bit darker just on the very edge and that will give it a nice rounded shape. All right so we're gonna on my paper, what I did now is I took some uh, white oil pastel. I took this white oil pastel and I colored over at my antlers just a little bit to give them a nice smooth, some a little bit of highlight and a smooth, uh, kind of a smooth finish there. Because they're kind of like a bone, so they're real hard and smooth. You could probably do this with a white crayon too. I just, oops, I colored over that string. I want to make sure the string is on top. There we go. Do the same thing on this antler. And I'm not coloring super hard with my oil pastel, just a little bit. See on the example here, I just add a little bit of oil pastel on there. So on the, I did that for the horns. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna work on this. Oh, and I did on the lights too. I wanted to kind of blend that. So I just colored the whole thing lightly with a, make it look more shiny and I'm going to go ahead and add some more crayon on top of that. This paper is really funky for me. It doesn't, it's not working. The mixed media paper worked way better. So um, you might want to make sure that you use the, try it with the mixed media paper maybe instead of water. Unless your watercolor paper is smoother than mine. Mine is not very smooth. There, now the crayon and the oil pastel are mixing a little bit. It looks good. There we go. There, that looks better. Get some more color in there. Filling up those white, those little white holes there. Okay, so. The last step you can also take, you could probably take a white crayon and go over, that will work too. Taking a white crayon to color over um, the bottom part of your reindeer, you can kind of, kind of blends them in the crayon a little bit. Mine not so well on this paper. Anyway, and then we're going, I'm going to do the same up here. I'm taking my white and kind of coloring over. And I'm using a white crayon right now. Coloring over my deer head just to kind of smooth it out and see if I can fill in those, help fill in those white spots. Do that over here on this ear. Now you may not have to do this with your white crayon. Yours may turn out just fine. Definitely though, I add some white oil pastel to the antlers to make them look a little more smooth and like they might be bone rather than fur. 
fur. We'd want them to look like fur. So I did add the white to the antlers. Oh, that didn't really help a whole lot either. It does look better in person because those little white parts of the paper aren't as bright in person as they are on the camera. So see, as I did it, you can see the different paper that I used. This was mixed media paper, which was smoother. And this was wa my watercolor paper, which had a rougher texture. See the difference in how it came out? Even though I really like how this turned out, I love the deer and the Christmas ornaments. Uh, the coloring was better on this one because it was a smoother texture. So just keep that in mind in the paper that you choose. Um, your smoother paper will have a, the crayon will work better. So you may want to choose to use oil pastels on your deer too, because they might work a little better on the thicker, the paper that has more texture to it. But that's how we learn in art is we experiment with, with different things and that's how we discover things. So I look forward to your reindeer and your creativity and the colors that you choose. So have a lot of fun with this project. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.